Let's stay with booze, this time winemakers in France, where it's not only driver shortages this winter posing problems, it's cold temperatures from last spring. Now, the grape harvest this year has been the victim of wild weather, and the wine industry is paying the price. CNN's Melissa Bell, who can smell a good burgundy at a, th at a thousand yards, has been visiting to find out more. At around $900,000, it was a record. A barrel of Corton Renard Grand Cru sold for charity and a break from the glum of a difficult year in Burgundy. So difficult that France declared an agricultural disaster. The hauntingly beautiful candlelit vineyards this spring, a symbol for winemakers of catastrophe. A desperate attempt to save some of the most precious burgeoning vines in the world from some of the worst frost Burgundy had seen in decades. But those candles could only do so much. In the end, those freezing nights of April led to this. Here in the cellars of the Hospice de Bourne, normally the barrels are piled two layers high. This year, there are only 350 that will be up for auction, half the usual amount. The annual wine auction at the medieval Hospice de Bourne also acts as a bellwether for what 2021 Burgundy wines might fetch. And this year, the bidding was fierce. Albéric Bichot is one of the region's biggest wine producers. He says the record frosts cost him 70% of his white wines and 40% of his red. So you've lost in quantity, but what we think is that the prices will go up. Will they compensate for what's been lost? No, they will not compensate for sure. Totally for Burgundy, it's almost 1 billion euro of lost within three nights. So it's, it's kind of drama for, for all of us. Pomar, Meursault, Nuit Saint-Georges, villages whose names resonate throughout the world, but from which there will be far less wine in a couple of years when the 2021 harvest is ready to be drunk. Meanwhile, Albéric Bichot opens a bottle of his 2013 Vaune Romanée. As for the 2021 harvest, he explains that a small one can also have advantages. We have a high concentration of the juice, both for Chardonnay and Pinot Noir, so we are still still uh, early to, to know, but what we are testing for the moment makes us very optimistic. Cheers. Melissa Bell, CNN, Burgundy. And we never saw Melissa Bell again. I'll take a few more of those glasses, and that was the end of that.